Alright everyone, and welcome to the Landerite right into the Void ship design video. In this video, I will show you a little bit about designing your own spaceship. So, let's make our way to the designer table. So, here we can see the current ship we have. And uh, it's time to build a new ship. So, we start by selecting our hull type. We have several hulls unlocked currently. Um, you can see the sizes of these hulls with the amount of tiles available and the hit points, and also how much it would cost to unlock them. So I think we'll go for the Locust, because it has the most slots available. And of course we can also have bigger ships like frigates and cruisers, although currently we only have a couple of Corvette hulls unlocked. And for the purpose of this demonstration, I've given myself a lot of money and some parts so we can show you the process and how it works. Alright, so let's start with uh, adding a cockpit to our hull. Of course, you've got to have somewhere to sit. Uh, we should probably place it at the front, although some ships, if you have enough room, you can also place it you know, at the back or any other place. Now, um, we should add some engines these, you know, go into the rear of the ship, usually. The shield generator provides a shield around the ship and uh, stops bullets from uh, damaging the hull immediately. Now we could go with more shield generators, but I think the level 2 shield generator is fine for, around, uh, for now. And let's add some guns to it. So we have an auto cannon. we can place it all the way at the front, but you know, it's gonna make it look good as well, right? So we'll place one here and turn it around and place another one. Um, yeah, we could also add more machine guns, but uh, for now I think two auto cannons will do. Um, we can also place uh, rocket pods. These provide some extra uh, firepower, although they do consume ammo which is something we might have to take care of as well. Now, these rocket pods we can place uh, on either side. They're broadside facing guns. I think we could just go for one in each direction. So we have two sides we can fire from. So of course, now we're also gonna have a way to uh, power these weapons. And for that, we will uh, install a new reactor. So the Mark II reactor gives us 10 power, we have a requirement uh, of 12 right now. So besides the reactor we'd also need a uh, capacitor. The capacitor provides 3 power so that should give us some extra. Now we're also going to need fuel and other things for other engines, although currently the um, Ion engines don't really require fuel, and we need a way to enter the ship as well, of course, because, you know, how else are you going to go in this height? So we'll put a docking port up there, and we'll add some cargo storage to the ship as well. Now the cargo containers, we may need to access them, so we can just place them down there, and we should have enough space to actually get to them. Uh, we'll also add a passenger seat for uh, any passengers we might bring. We could place it down there, but uh, we also need to have a way for uh, people to enter the cockpit, so we're going to have to leave some room for doors as well. Speaking of doors, let's add these right now. So, you know, we're going to walk from the uh, docking port into the cockpit. You need to have a way to access it, so we'll place two doors there. Now, we don't really need fuel right now for these uh, ion engines. But I think for the extra acceleration, we'll also add a chemical engine. A single chemical engine should be enough to provide a basic little bit of boost, but we need to make room for it. So let's change things out a little bit. There we go. Add the chemical engine. But now, of course, the power requirements is way higher than we have right now. So, of course, we need to add another or add our uh, reactor again. But if we place it here, we have problem with uh, not being able to access these cargo containers. So we'll place it there for now and then maybe move the cargo containers or we'll see how it goes. First we'll add the fuel storage because we also need fuel to uh, power the uh, to power the chemical engine. 
now we need to replace our shield generator but there's no really any place if we put it down there we don't have access to the scour containers we can place it up front but that would block our way so i think we'll have to rearrange things again so I'll place the shield down there and then um, we can place the cargo containers up there but then we don't have enough room to access everything either so let's see how we do this I'll place one there and then um, move the generator so as you can see it becomes a bit of a puzzle once you fill things up and seeing um, if we place it down there that should work but we yeah we have a way to get in the ship right now now we could place a heat sink and a heat sink will um, help cool down the heat based weapons such as these auto cannons which allows us to shoot longer but if we place it anywhere basically we don't really have a way to get in the ship anymore so yeah um, as you can see it's kind of get a little bit complicated fortunately um, we also have these uh, wall mounted capacitors and we only need uh, a little bit so we can place the heatsink down there and then instead of using the big capacitor we can place three smaller wall mounted capacitors anywhere in these uh, on these walls which don't have anything uh, currently there So place one here, another one there, and then uh, maybe add a third one. Yeah, I could do that. Add a third one in the uh, engine room, really. Yeah. There we go. All right. Now this ship looks pretty decent, I think. So anything else we can add? Let's see. Uh, yeah, it looks good, I guess. Um, oh, we could add uh, more engines, but there's not really any room to to add anything uh, so oh and there's the uh, the roof turret we could add a roof turret although we don't really have any slots available uh, we could add more shield generators but again we don't have the power for it um, the roof turret is a nice thing because it helps defend against uh, incoming missiles as you can see it's um, it's got like a, an arc of fire uh, where we automatically try to shoot down incoming missiles you can rotate it so you you know to to a full coverage you would need four of these on your ship um, although one is also already very helpful uh, but yeah the only place we could put it would um, block access to the cockpit so i think this ship it being still a, a relatively small corvette is pretty much packed right now yeah, we could exchange an engine for it but you know i think it's i think it's good like this so yeah let's construct it and let's see all right, well, there it is. Our brand new ship, it's just spawned. Let's go take it for a test ride. Just quickly walk over there, get in. There it is. Oh yeah, our cargo still has a uh, cargo that we already had in our previous ship. Oh, and I hear some combat. Uh, looks like we may have some pirates flying around the station. Okay, so let's wait for the ramp to retract. Ooh, there's fighting going on. Let's see if we can find it. See, the pirate is already on the scanner. There he is. Let's take a quick look. There we go. It's nice iron engines. Little blue glow. Let's see if we can do some. Fighting. Oh, looks like the cavalry has already already arrived. And, ah, well, okay. Yeah, we're too late to do anything with it. But you know, ship seems to fly pretty well. And I think in the next video we will um, take a look at doing combat with this ship. All right. Well, there we are. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.